Sinematch High International Equipment Co., Ltd. Operation and Maintenance Instructions of Excavator ZG3225LC, 9C. Dear Customers, Welcome to buy Sinomach Excavator ZG3225LC, 9C. For your better using experience, we will introduce you the operation and maintenance instructions of Excavator ZG3225LC, 9C in every detail. Sinomach is committed to bringing you the most comfortable working experience and maximum benefits. This video includes following four chapters. Chapter 1 Machine Structure Chapter 2 Safety Instruction Chapter 3 Operational Instruction Chapter 4 Maintenance Instruction Chapter 1 Machine Structure Engine System Engine Nameplate Fuel Tank Fuel Injection Pump Fuel Injector Fuel Filter Oil Water Separator Oil Sump Oil Filter Oil Pressure Sensor Oil Cooler Dipstick Air Pre-Filter Air Filter Turbocharger Air Intercooler Silencer and Exhaust Pipe Water Pump Thermostat Radiator Expansion Tank Cooling Fan and Drive Pulley Starter Alternator Flywheel RPM Sensor Gearbox Crankshaft Pulley Automatic Tensioning Device Hydraulic System Hydraulic Oil Tank Hydraulic Oil Radiator Oil Inlet Pipe of Main Hydraulic Pump Main Hydraulic Pump Pilot Solenoid Valve Group Pilot Valve Traveling Pilot Valve Main Control Valve Swing Motor Center Rotation Joint Travel Motor Main Boom Cylinder Stick Cylinder Bucket Cylinder Working Attachment Main Boom Arm Bucket Pin Shaft Rod and Rocker Crawler System Tensioning Cylinder Crawler Carrier Roller Track Roller Idler Driving Wheel Frame and Accessories Upper Frame Lower Frame Slewing Support Assembly Counterweight Engine Hood Electrical System Main Power Switch Batteries Work Light Electric Control Box Fuse Box Auto Throttle Motor Assembly Cabin Pilot Safety Lock Pilot Joystick Air Conditioner and Radio Control Panel Ignition Switch Work Light, Wiper, and Glass Water Jet Switches Throttle Knob Travel Pilot Lever and Pedal Electronic Monitor Air Conditioner Evaporator Chapter 2 Safety Instruction do not change the machine configuration without permission or identification from our technical team. Sinomach is not responsible for the safety problem or economic loss caused by that. Carefully read the operation manual, recognize safety information and follow operation and maintenance instructions. Understand the caution and safety signals. 1. Caution and safety signals. Pay attention to the working attachment, which means that there is a danger of being hit by the working attachment. Please stay away from the machine at work. No entry into the rotating range, this sign means that there is a danger of being squeezed by the machine. Please stay away from the machine at work. Lifting point refers to the lifting position of the machine. Prevent falling, this sign means that there is a risk of falling. Please do not stand on the edge of the engine shield. Precautions for accumulator means that the pressure vessel is in danger of deflagration. Please do not use metal wrench, flame cutting or hammer to knock, and do not get close to the fire source. Hook refers to the lifting point of the counterweight. Please do not try to lift the whole excavator with the hook on the counterweight, otherwise personal injury will be caused due to overload fracture. High temperature warning, this sign means not to touch the turbocharger, which may cause serious burns. Hydraulic oil filling port, which means do not mix different brands of hydraulic oil. Do not open the oil tank cap when the engine is working or the oil temperature is high, please slowly unscrew the oil tank cap to release the pressure in the tank. 
Water tank high temperature warning. This sign means that when the engine is working or the engine water temperature is high, remember not to open the radiator cap, otherwise hot water will spray out and cause burns. Shutdown inspection refers to the danger of being involved by rotating parts such as belts. The machine must be stopped before checking and maintaining the engine. Maximum height means that contact with high voltage wires will cause serious personal injury. In order to avoid contact with high voltage wires, a safe distance must be maintained. Pilot safety lock lever. This sign means that the pilot safety lock lever shall be placed in the vertical position when leaving the cabin or stopping the machine. Transportation refers to learning the operation manual before transporting the whole machine and fixing the arm and crawler on the flatbed trailer with steel wire rope for transportation. 2. Safety tips. Only trained and qualified personnel are allowed to operate the machine. Please do not operate the machine when you feel uncomfortable, take drugs which might cause sleepiness or after drinking. In this case, operating the machine might affect your judgment and lead to accidents. Please do not wear loose clothes to operate the machine, because clothes may hang on the pilot joystick and other operating levers and cause accidents. Please keep the cabin clean, do not operate the machine while listening to music, do not smoke in the cabin nor leave the lighter in the cabin. When leaving the machine, place the working attachment completely on the ground, place the pilot safety lock lever in the vertical position, turn off the engine and the main power switch, and lock the doors of all devices. When getting on and off the machine, the foot pedal and handrail must be used while facing the machine. It is forbidden to use any operating lever as a handrail. Do not climb when the machine is moving, otherwise serious personal injury might be caused. Before operating the machine, in order to prevent the machine from rolling over, sinking, on fire, or being injured due to the falling of stones, it is necessary to investigate the terrain and ground conditions of the working site, strengthen and level the foundation as required, eliminate the hidden danger of fire, and ensure the installation of cabin protection devices. Before operating the machine, it is necessary to confirm the direction of the travel motor, because the wrong operation of the travel pedal or travel lever may lead to serious accidents. It is forbidden to smoke when checking the oil level or filling oil to prevent fire. Before operating the machine, please adjust the appropriate seat position and fasten the safety belt. It is forbidden to adjust the seat position when the machine is moving. Ensure that the machine can be started only when sitting on the seat and all operating levers are in the neutral position. Incorrect starting steps might cause the machine to lose control and lead to serious accidents. Clean all the windows in the cabin, clean all the work lights, and adjust the mirror to ensure a good field of vision. Please confirm the position of people around before moving, rotating, or operating the machine. Always keep the travel alarm and horn in operation. When the machine starts moving, they can warn people around. When the machine is running, no other personnel are allowed on the machine except the operator. When the machine goes up and down the slope, it is easy to cause slipping or rollover and cause serious accidents. Therefore, put the bucket at a position about 0.2 to 0.3 m away from the ground towards the walking direction. In case the machine slipped, quickly lower the bucket to the ground for braking. Please use a stopper to support the tracks on both sides if it is necessary to park the machine on a slope. Place the bucket on the ground and fix the machine to prevent it from rolling over. Never lift, move, or rotate the bucket over anyone or any truck cabin. The falling of materials in the bucket or collision with other bucket may cause serious injury or machine damage. When working near the high voltage power lines, be sure to keep a safe distance between the machine and the high voltage power lines. Once the machine touches the power lines, please sit on the seat and keep still. Do not touch the machine to ensure the safety of other personnel on the ground until the power supply is cut off. If necessary, jump off the machine directly, but do not touch the machine. The wetland environment will increase the range of possible electric shock. Please keep the surrounding personnel away from the operation area. Chapter 3 Operational Instruction Introduction to Functions of Cabin Components Seat Adjustment the seat and the control box are adjusted together. Adjustment of the seat relative position to the control box. Adjustment of seat up and down. Adjustment of backrest angle. Adjustment of handrail. Adjustment of head restraint. Adjustment of seat buffer force. Pilot safety lock lever. When the safety lock lever is in the vertical position, the pilot oil circuit is cut off 
and all operating joysticks and operating levers do not work. When the safety lock lever is in the horizontal position, the pilot oil circuit is open, and all operating joysticks and operating levers can work normally. Pilot Joystick The pilot joystick at right side controls the movement of the main boom and bucket. Boost Switch This switch is used to increase the system pressure instantly, so as to obtain large excavation force. Throttle Knob The knob has 10 gears. Turn the knob clockwise to increase the engine speed, and turn the knob counterclockwise to decrease the engine speed. The pilot joystick at left side controls the rod and swing movements. Horn switch, press the switch and the horn will sound. The two travel levers control the forward and backward of the left and right travel motors respectively. Introduction to instruments, alarm lights and indicator lights of electronic monitor. Engine tachometer, displays the engine speed in real time. Engine coolant thermometer, displays the temperature of coolant. The green area is 30 degrees Celsius, 105 degrees Celsius, and the red area is above 105 degrees Celsius. When the needle enters to the red zone, the engine speed should be reduced and keep idle state until the needle returns to the green zone, and then shut down the engine for inspection and troubleshooting. Fuel gauge, displays the volume of fuel in the fuel tank. Hydraulic oil temperature gauge, it displays the hydraulic oil temperature. The green area is 30 degrees Celsius, 85 degrees Celsius, and the red area is above 85 degrees Celsius. The load of the working system should be reduced when the needle enters to the red zone until the needle returns to the green zone. Engine oil pressure warning light, if the warning light is on and accompanied by an alarm sound when the engine is running, the engine should be shut down immediately for inspection. Battery charging indicator light, the light is on when the ignition key is in the power on position. The light will go out after the engine started. Please check the battery charging circuit immediately if the light on together with alarm sound when the engine is running. Engine preheating indicator light, the light is on when the ignition key is turned to the preheating position and it will automatically goes out after about 15 seconds, and the preheating completed after the buzzer sound stopped. Coolant overheat alarm light, when the coolant temperature exceeds 105 degrees Celsius, the light will be on and the buzzer will sound after 10 seconds. If the light is working, please check the cooling system immediately. Low fuel level alarm light, when the fuel volume is less than 40L, the light will be on, and the buzzer will sound after 10 seconds. When the light works, please add fuel in time. Hydraulic oil temperature alarm light, when the hydraulic oil temperature exceeds 85 degrees Celsius, the light will be on, and the buzzer will sound after 10 seconds. When the light works, please reduce the working load and engine speed. After the temperature decreases, check the hydraulic oil cooling system and reduce the working load. Oil water separation alarm light, when there is too much water in the oil water separator, the light will be on and the buzzer sounds. When the light works, please check the oil water separator immediately to drain the water. Air filter blockage alarm light. After the air filter is blocked, a vacuum is formed inside the air filter and the light will be on. Also the buzzer sounds at the same time. When the lamp works, please clean the air filter or replace it immediately. Monitoring display. Displays the current time, some machine information and fault code. Working time display. Displays the cumulative working time of the machine. The timing will be started after the engine started and the system voltage is larger than 27 volts. Working mode display, H represents high power working mode, S represents standard working mode, L represents low power working mode, and B represents breaking hammer working mode. S is the default mode of the system. You can select the working mode by pressing the left key and the right key. System voltage display, display the real-time system voltage value. Automatic idle indicator, the system defaults to automatic idle. The automatic idle key can select the on and off of the automatic idle function. In the automatic idle state, when the pilot joystick or travel operating lever moves, the engine will remain at the speed corresponding to the gear of the throttle knob. When the pilot joystick and the travel lever do not operate for 5 seconds, the engine speed will be automatically reduced to idle speed. Display of travel mode selection, the system defaults to low speed mode. Use the travel mode selection key to switch between high and low speed modes. 
High speed mode is the symbol of rabbit and low speed mode is the symbol of tortoise. Engine speed gear display displays the gear number corresponding to the throttle knob. The number is displayed between 01-10. Buzzer alarm display an alarm or prompt signal will cause the buzzer to sound and the icon will light up. After pressing the confirm slash mute key, the buzzer stops sounds and the icon continues to display. Instant boost display Press the boost switch on the right pilot joystick, the system boost solenoid valve is powered on, and the icon will be lights up. Status display of pilot safety lock switch, when the safety lock lever is lifted, it is displayed as unlocking status, the safety solenoid valve is powered on, so that the hydraulic system can work normally. When the safety lock lever is lowered, it is displayed as lock state, the safety solenoid valve is powered off, so that the hydraulic system cannot work. Introduction to button functions of monitor. Travel mode selection key. This key is used to control the travel speed. Press this key to change the travel speed. The system defaults to low speed mode. Up and down direction keys. The keys are used to move the cursor or line feed in the system menu interface. Left and right direction keys. The keys are used to move the cursor in the system menu interface and switch the working mode in the main interface. Automatic idle speed selection key. This key is used to select whether to realize the automatic idle speed function. The system turns on the automatic idle function by default. Press this key to turn off the automatic idle function. Menu selection key. Press this key to enter the system menu and return to the previous menu. Confirm slash new key. Press this key to confirm the parameter setting in the menu and also can stop the buzzer. Menu instructions. Press the menu key to enter the main menu interface. The main menu includes seven items, using information, system parameters, fault logs, user set, system set, monitor set, and controller set. Using information, there are five submenus will be displayed after entering, using information, by pressing the arrow keys, user notice, machine information, controller information, monitor information, maintenance information. User notice, check some basic matters that users should pay attention to when operating the machine after entering. User notice, by pressing the arrow keys. Machine information, check the machine model, machine serial number, relevant contact number and other information after entering. Machine information, by pressing the arrow keys. Controller information, check the controller hardware and software information after entering. Controller information, by pressing the arrow keys. Monitor information, check monitor model, software version, and other information after entering, monitor information, by pressing the arrow keys. Maintenance information, check the information that needs to be checked every 8 hours of product operation after entering, maintenance information, by pressing the arrow keys. System parameters, get into the interface of running parameters by pressing arrow keys to view real-time running data. Switch the interface by pressing up and down keys. Fault logs, view the occurrence time and working hours of historical fault records by pressing arrow keys. User set, after setting the password through the arrow key and entering user set, there are six submenus, clock adjust, language set, brightness set, throttle set, system warming set, and user password set. Clock adjust, setting and modifying system time after entering clock adjust by pressing the arrow keys. Select the setting position by pressing up and down arrow keys during the setting, and then press the confirm key to enter the setting and use the up and down arrow keys to increase or decrease the value. When the setting is complete, press the menu selection key to exit the setup program. Language set, select the language after entering language set by pressing the arrow keys. Brightness set, adjust the brightness of the display after entering brightness set by pressing the up and down arrow keys. Throttle set, set the throttle according to the prompted after entering throttle set by pressing the arrow keys. System warming set, select whether to start the warm-up process as prompted after entering system warming set by pressing the arrow keys. User password set, the current user password can be changed after entering user password set by pressing the arrow keys. System set, this item is set by the manufacturer and the user has no right to modify the setting without permission. If necessary, the setting can be modified under the guidance of professional personnel from the manufacturer. Monitor set, this item is set by the manufacturer, and the user has no right to modify the setting without permission. 
controller set, this item is set by the manufacturer, and the user has no right to modify the setting without permission. Running in of new machine. The new machine needs to take 100 hours of run-in operation to achieve its design performance. Please follow these three steps during the first 100 hours to avoid overloading. Overload will reduce the potential performance of the machine and shorten the service life of the machine. The engine oil level, fuel level, coolant level, hydraulic oil level and leakage situation should be checked daily during the 100-hour run-in period. Grease should be daily added to all lubrication points. After 50 hours of operation of the new machine, the engine oil, oil filter, and hydraulic pipeline filter element needs to be replaced for the first maintenance. Inspection before starting. Check all parts of the machine for traces of oil leakage and water leakage. Check whether the fixing bolts of important parts are loose. Check the engine oil level, coolant level, and hydraulic oil level to ensure that they are within the normal range. Check and confirm that the pilot safety lock lever in the cabin is in the closed position, and the pilot joystick and travel operating lever are in the neutral position. Check and make sure there are no people around the machine. Startup. Turn on the main power switch. Get into the cabin, adjust the seat to a comfortable position, adjust the mirror, fasten the safety belt. When starting the engine, first turn the key to the power on position and check the monitor information. After confirming that it is normal, turn the key to the start position. Release the key immediately after the engine is running, and it will automatically return to the on position. The key should not be in the starting position for more than 20 seconds. If the engine is not running, stop for 2 minutes before starting again. After startup, we need to observe whether all warning lights on the monitor are off. Are the pointers of water temperature gauge and hydraulic oil temperature gauge in the green area? Is the smoke color and running sound of the engine normal? Please note that it is not allowed to increase the engine speed immediately after starting, otherwise the engine and turbocharger might be damaged. If any alarm found on the monitor, please stop the machine immediately for inspection and troubleshooting. The optimum temperature of hydraulic oil is 50 degrees. If the machine is suddenly operated when the hydraulic oil temperature is lower than 25 degrees, the hydraulic system may be seriously damaged. Therefore, a preheating process is required to increase the hydraulic oil temperature before operation. After the engine runs at low speed for 5 minutes, the speed can be gradually increased to make the engine run at medium speed. Operate the bucket for 5 minutes and do not operate other actions during this period. Then let the engine run at high speed and operate the bucket and stick for 5 to 10 minutes at the same time. Please pay attention not to operate other actions during this period. Finally, operate the traveling and slewing action several times to complete the preheating procedure. Machine Travel Generally, when the machine is traveling, the traveling motor should be behind the cabin and the working attachment should be in front. When the machine turns 180 degrees, it should be noted that the direction of the travel operating lever is opposite to the direction of the machine travels. In order to extend the service life of the traveling system, please do not travel continuously for a long time. When traveling on uneven ground, the engine speed should be reduced and the low gear should be used. Operate the travel operating lever or pedal on one side to complete the steering through the movement of the track on one side. By operating two traveling levers in opposite directions at the same time, in-situ steering can be realized. Engine Shutdown If the engine suddenly stops running before cooling, the engine life may be greatly shortened. Therefore, do not shut down suddenly except in an emergency. Especially if the engine is overheated, do not shut down suddenly. Run it at medium speed, let it cool gradually, and then shut down. Put the bucket on the ground, place all operating joysticks in the neutral position, and close the pilot safety lock. The engine needs to run at idle speed for 5 minutes before shut down. Turn the ignition key to the off position, turn off the main power switch, and lock the cabin door and all side doors. Chapter 4 Maintenance Instruction Periodic Maintenance for Engine Check Fuel Level 
hydraulic oil level, engine oil level, coolant level, cleanliness of radiator surface, tightness of alternator belt before starting the engine every day. The engine oil and filter needs to be replaced after 50 hours of new engine operation and replace the engine oil every 250 hours thereafter. The engine oil capacity is 24 liters. If the ambient temperature is dash 20 degree to 40 degrees, SAE 15W 40 engine oil recommended. If the ambient temperature is lower than minus 20 degrees, SAE 5W 20 engine oil recommended. The fuel filter and oil water separator should be replaced every 500 hours. Check the oil water separator before working every day and drain the water from the bottom of the oil water separator. Air filter, when the monitor appears the alarm of air filter blocked, must remove the air filter as soon as possible, and clean the filter element from inside to outside with high pressure air, and check whether the filter element is damaged. If necessary, please replace the filter element in time. Please note that the inner air filter can only be replaced with a new one but not cleaned one. Working in dusty environments such as quarries and cement plants requires shorter maintenance intervals. After cleaning the air filter for 3 to 5 times, the air filter needs to be replaced at the same time. Periodic maintenance for hydraulic system. Hydraulic oil pipeline filter element needs to be replaced after the new machine runs for 50 hours. If breaker hammer used, please replace this filter element each 200 hours. Air filter of hydraulic tank needs to be replaced each 500 working hours. The pilot oil filter, hydraulic oil return filter and oil return filter should to be replaced each 1000 working hours after the first time 500 working hours. If breaker hammer used, please replace the above three filters each 200 hours. Replace the hydraulic oil and clean the oil inlet filter every 2000 hours. If breaker hammer used, the hydraulic oil should be replaced every 600 hours. The hydraulic tank capacity is 180 liters and the total system capacity is 310 liters. After the replacement of new hydraulic oil, it is necessary to start the engine and operate each cylinder several times in full stroke to remove air from the hydraulic system. Hydraulic oil with viscosity grade 46 is recommended for ambient temperatures ranging from dash 20 degree to 35 degrees. Hydraulic oil with viscosity grade 68 is recommended for ambient temperatures ranging from dash 10 degree to 40 degrees. The rotary reducer gear oil should be replaced every 1000 hours. The steps to replace the gear oil are as follows, operate the machine to rotate to increase the oil temperature of the rotating part, then stop the machine on a flat ground and take out the oil dipstick, loosen the plug of the oil drain pipe, drain the gear oil, then tighten the plug and add new gear oil from the oil dipstick port. The gear oil capacity of the reducer is about 5.3 liters, and it is recommended to use 85W140 gear oil all year round. The gear oil of the travel reducer should be replaced every 1000 hours. The steps to replace gear oil are as follows operate the machine to increase the gear oil temperature of the traveling reducer, then stop the machine to make the oil discharge hole face down, unscrew the plug of the oil level measurement hole and the oil discharge hole, and drain the gear oil. Tighten the plug of the oil discharge hole and add new gear oil from the filling hole until the gear oil overflows from the measuring hole. The gear oil capacity of each gear reducer is approximately 5.5 liters, and 85W140 gear oil is recommended throughout the year. When discharging oil, please observe whether there are abnormal metal fragments and other foreign bodies. When adding new oil, please pay attention not to be mixed with foreign matters. Periodic maintenance for cooling system. The coolant must be replaced every 2000 hours. The radiator capacity is about 35 liters. Clean the heat sink fins thoroughly with 0.5 MPa compressed air. Check whether the heat sink fins are bent or cracked and replace the radiator when necessary. Filling of lubricating grease. 
Every 250 hours, check the grease quality in the rotate gear ring. Every 1000 hours, check the grease quality in rotary drive gear. Grease should be added to rotary gear ring, rotary drive gear and the pins of the working attachment each 8 hours. Add proper amount of grease from 3 grease nozzles to rotary gear ring. Distribution of lubrication points of the working attachment. Main boom centralized lubrication 5 points. Main boom cylinder pin 2 points. Main boom and stick connecting pin 2 points. Stick cylinder pin 1 point. Bucket cylinder pin 2 points. Bucket connecting rod 3 points. Stick and bucket connecting pin 1 point. Bucket and connecting rod pin 1 point. Add grease to rotary reducer gear output shaft bearing every 1000 hours. The steps of grease filling are as follows. Remove the exhaust port plug and grease nozzle cover, then fill in grease until the new grease overflow from the exhaust port. Replace grease in rotary gear ring every 1000 hours. The steps to replace grease are as follows. Remove the lower frame drain cover and the upper frame refueling cover and operate the machine 360 degrees rotation several times. Then install the drain cover and add 14 liters of new grease. Finally install the refueling cover. Periodic maintenance for electric system. Need to check the fixed wiring harness often. Check whether the connecting plugs is loosened. Grounding line is reliable. Whether the monitor works normally. When replacing the battery, remove the grounding wire of the old battery firstly. When installing a new battery, put the connection of the grounding wire at last. When the machine needs welding maintenance, remove the grounding wire of the battery and separate the connector of ECU. Periodic maintenance for air conditioning system. Clean the air conditioning filter inside and outside the cabin every month. Clean the filter element with 2 MPA compressed air, check whether the filter element is damaged, and replace the filter element every 500 hours. Check the tightness of the air conditioner compressor belt every week and clean the condenser. Adjustment of crawler tension. It is very important to adjust the tensioning of crawler correctly for the service life of crawler and traveling device. Prop up one side of the machine by using the main boom and rod. Discharge proper amount of grease from the grease nozzle if the crawler is too tight and add proper amount of grease from the grease nozzle if the crawler is too loose. To prevent high pressure grease from spewing out to injury caused, please loosen the grease nozzle slowly and not more than one circle.